What is going on, Knicks Nation? Welcome back to Knicks Media. This is Richie, and the Knicks have won four in a row. Last night, the New York Knicks get another W, a back-to-back -back win. Biggest win was Friday against the Sixers. Last night's win, it was against the Washington Wizards, one of the worst teams in the NBA, but definitely is still good to see the Knicks do what good teams are supposed to do against bad teams and purely dominate them on the road. The Knicks go into Washington and route them in the first half. The Wizards came back a little bit in the third quarter, but I was not concerned one bit because that's what the Knicks do. They did against the Timberwolves. They were playing well against the, them until halftime, and then the Timberwolves came back in that third quarter and in the fourth quarter is when they really solidified themselves for the W and that's exactly what the Knicks did last night against the Wizards. We saw Julius Randle have another phenomenal game after having one of his worst games of the season actually against the Philadelphia 76ers on Friday with only eight points. Well last night he dropped 39. So Randle is back. The Knicks have a dynamic duo of a Randle and a, a Jalen Brunson both of them getting above 30 plus in a game. And the NBA world is now recognizing the Knicks might have one of the best NBA duos in the entire NBA with Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle. So, folks, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section right now about the Knicks' four-game winning streak and their win last night against the Washington Wizards. Please do not forget to hit that thumbs-up button and also subscribe if you're new to Knicks Media. With that being said, let's get right into the video and talk more about last night's game. So, the Knicks in the first half just completely dominated them on all accounts, 34-19 outscored them in the first quarter, outscored them 29 to 24 in the second quarter, and had a big time halftime lead. And I think a lot of that had to do with them going into Washington and just finding their energy because it's hard to win on back-to-back -back nights, especially when you're on the road for both of them, right? You travel from Philadelphia to Washington, and they're still able to do this. And again, I, I got to keep reminding everybody and myself that the Wizards are not a phenomenal team. But the reason why it's still good to be excited is because on this four-game winning streak, the Knicks beat two of the best teams in the NBA in the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Philadelphia 76ers, which is why this feels good. Of course, the biggest news is the Knicks continue their winning streak since the OG Ananobi trade, 4-0 since that move went down, so the move is looking different, and the Knicks continuously play phenomenal on the defensive end and are deep and are just playing for each other. Now, let's get into the box score. Julius Randle, 39 points, 7 boards, 5 dimes, and 1 steal 13 of 23 from the field 10 of 13 from the free throw line and a plus minus of a plus 24 cool to see Julius Randle get back to his dominant ways uh, simply because of his off night Friday night which he was definitely allowed to have based off his performances this season in my opinion Jalen Brunson 33 points and 8 assists 10 of 18 from the field 4 of 8 from downtown 9 of 9 from the free throw line Jalen Brunson is just something special man if he's not an all-star I will be so upset him and Julius Randle, they both need to be an all-star. Please, Knicks fans, comment right now if you voted. I might have to put the link in the description for everybody to vote for our guys Julius Randle and Jalen Brunson because they need to be in the all-star game representing our new York Knicks. Isaiah Hartenstein. One rebound shy of his career high he had on Wednesday against the Bulls. He had 19 rebounds. Are you kidding me? Four steals, two blocks, eight points for Isaiah Hardenstein, plus minus of a plus 26, which led the entire team. I mean, what more is there to say about Isaiah Hardenstein other than he's going to get the bag in the summer? Whether that's from the Knicks, I'm not too sure, or another team out there, I have no idea. But the reality is... What Isaiah Hardenstein is doing is nothing short of spectacular. I mean, you cannot have asked for a player to sub in for Mitchell Robinson more than he's done. Absolutely dominating and disrupting this team in a positive light, just active, getting his uh, hands on all the loose balls, crashing the rebounds, blocking shots at the rim emphatically, and actually being an offensive arsenal. You give him the ball in the paint, the little push shot, the little you know post-game, low post-game, his footwork is phenomenal. So Isaiah Hardenstein cannot say enough great things about him. OG Ananobi continues to do his dominance on the defensive end, and it's cool to see his presence be there and putting up you know only nine points on with five rebounds and a steal but you know in 31 minutes he was a plus 11 and his impact is here and you can tell that he's slowly getting more comfortable with his teammates which is a phenomenal thing Dante DiVincenzo didn't have his best game he was four for ten from the field with 10 points and then off the bench Josh Hart he didn't have the greatest game pl uh, plug in a stat sheet but 
he did what he was a plus 24 off the bench and everybody else off the bench were actually minus Grimes was minus six McBride minus four uh, Precious was minus eight but Deuce McBride had a highlight put back dunk before halftime uh, Quentin Grimes he only had six points but listen man the vibes are high right now Knicks fans I mean for us to be on this winning streak and now if you were watching my video yesterday, I was reminding you guys about the Eastern Conference standings. The Pacers lost to Boston, and now all of a sudden, the Knicks went from the eighth seed up to the fourth seed. That's how ridiculous the Eastern Conference is right now in terms of the playoff seeding. So your New York Knicks are right now sitting as the fourth seed behind the Celtics, behind the Philadelphia 76ers, and behind the Milwaukee Bucks. That's that's the seed I want, man. That is where I want the Knicks to finish. Still a long way to go, but it is, it is really hard to not get excited. And my favorite thing I got to mention about last night was probably the post-game interview with Julius Randle with Clyde Frazier because Clyde Frazier was saying, hey, you're doing things since me, Willis, and now Julius Randle said, we're just trying to follow your footsteps. And Julius Randle, man, it's just hard for me to rationalize how some Knicks fans cannot see what Julius Randle's doing, not only on the court, but off the court, and not just be excited about what he's doing. He is in a great mental space. Julius Randle is putting everything on the floor. He embodies what it means to be a New York Knick, playing with passion playing with your heart in your sleeve, putting everything out on the line, playing with effort, playing with heart, playing with grit, and just like following in the Knicks legends' footsteps, giving the Knicks legends their praise. That was a really great interview by Julius Randle, and I had to give, I had to tip my cap to him because that was really, really awesome. And um, it's an exciting time to be a Knicks fan, folks. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section of the Knicks win last night against the Wizards and, of course, their four-game winning streak. The next game is Tuesday night against the Portland Trailblazers back at home. And then we got a really interesting home stretch of games uh, coming up on the schedule, which is really, really going to be fun. So after that Portland game at home, we're on the road in Dallas, and then we're on the road in Memphis, and then we have two straight weeks at home, right? At home against Orlando, Houston, Washington again in Toronto. And then we're on the road in Brooklyn, which is basically a home game. And then we're uh, at the Garden against Denver and Miami. And then in Charlotte. And then back at home against Utah. And that's going to finish the month of January. So I think the month of January is pivotal for the New York Knicks. Uh, try to separate themselves in the Eastern Conference. Really solidify themselves. Definitely in the top six. Because we do we do definitely want to avoid that play-in tournament by any stretch of the imagination. I want that for fourth seed or the fifth seed more importantly give me the fourth seed because I want home court in the playoffs and the Knicks are showing up big time and you just got to show love to Julius Randle Jalen Brunson because they are a duo and of course the entire Knicks team Tom Thibodeau Leon Rose we already talked about that on yesterday's show but that's my thoughts of the Knicks right now let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section my apologies for this video came out a little late wasn't able to do it last night so I thought to make it this morning hope you guys have a fantastic Sunday I'll catch you guys next time let's go Knicks Peace out. Let's go.